Okay guys, let's start off with our primer. Two primers today. Haven't tried this combination before, so I need to try it. My NYX Blur and my Absolute New York Pour This Me Beauty Supply Store $7.99 primer. This is a $14 primer. We're gonna do the sunscreen first. You need sunscreen now, especially now. So I'll make sure I'll put that sunscreen down. that in the NYX blur is kind of I want to say yeah it's kind of tacky and you could feel it like gripping to your skin so let's do the poreless I'm loving this poreless I didn't I had no expectations for this poreless primer at all but I've been using it since I purchased it so it's wonderful I had no expectations. And let that do what it's going to do. You know, you got to let your primer sit for a minute so it can adjust and get ready for your whatever you're going to do. Today, we're just going to do concealer, but let's do a quick eye look. Nothing fancy. Probably one color. I'm going to just take a dot of this e.l.f. Camel Concealer in Fair Rose, Fair Warm. You just need a little base. We're just gonna do a brown, put a brown on here and be done today. So yeah. I love this as an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lip primer on while I'm thinking about it. ColourPop lippy stick lip primer. I always like get my hands all greasy and then say I'm going to put this the wrong one because it's hardly anything in that one. Got another one around here somewhere. Memory card got full, blend out the edges. Which I think one shade is enough. I can't really see because the light is on my thing. Let me turn it this way. Go all the way. Not overly. A little better. I can't see nothing. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this one glitter shade on the lid. It's one of my rush type days. I love fallout though. It will be good for my people who love highlights. <laughs> well, not for me. Just blend out the crease. All right. 
for concealer, I'm gonna take this Rose Ink Concealer. It's a sample that I did a video on a couple of videos ago. I did purchase them from Sephora. Come to find out that they're being discontinued from Sephora, so all of their products is on sale. So I ordered shade 150 and 140. Here in these little sample packages, I have 160 and 140, so I have to mix them together. A lot came in there to give me an okay shade for myself. And I want to do a wear test because I didn't do a wear test that day that I tried them. I just knew that it was beautiful. <laughs> I'm just mixing the two shades on a concealer brush. This can be used as a concealer or a foundation according to their website so y'all know I like to use a concealer especially for a foundation so let's go ahead and blend I was like every time I find something it's discontinued one of my buddies here told me I had an honor, yeah, they're being discontinued from uh, support. That's why everything is on sale. Because the concealers are normally $30, so they were $15. So it's a mark. I have a mark right here, and I see it did wonderful with covering it. It's very skin-like, very natural-like. It's looking very natural with a hint of a little dew to it. You know, a little dew, a little radiance, which I love. So, get in the middle. And I use the shade 140 as a highlight shade because it was bright enough for me to use. So I just used it as a highlight shade. I probably got like one more use out of this. So that's three uses out of those little samples. I'm a little sponge. I was totally shocked when I put this on. Like totally, totally shocked. And come to find out, they're discontinued. <laughs> like, why? Why did I? And I had that on my dresser like for a long time. That sample, ever since the Fenty uh, hydrating foundation came out, it's been sitting on my dresser. Mm-hmm. Now see how it looks just like a your skin but better type look. And I love and enjoy the fact that it doesn't look full coverage alike. So I'm gonna take some of my Sasha Buttercup. I can mold this palette. Set this. Turn the mirror around. 
and press that in. Yep. NYX Rebel Kind Lip Liner. And Black Radiance Press Powder Blush. Not blush, bronzer. Well, I use it as a bronzer, but it's a face powder. That's it for a moment while I throw on some lashes. Okay, I'm not going to set this concealer. I feel like it's self-setting, which is always a bonus when you have a concealer that sets itself and you don't have to put any additional powders and all, and all of that on there. I feel like it's wonderful. <laughs> so just dust away all that. That's why I necessarily don't bake, even though I'm oily combo like bacon doesn't work for me bacon makes me extremely oily so that's why i don't bake okay and there's something else i was going to do oh lip i'm gonna use this butter gloss bling it's the new one and i haven't um tried it out yet and this is bring the bling which is a gold so let's see. No, y'all know I like to look disco, like a disco ball with my gold on. I right, match the eyes. Okay. Yeah, match the eyes. All right, let me throw in some lashes, get dressed, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. This is the completed look using that rose concealer. I just wanted to do a wear test today, so I'll come back after today's work day to show you how it held up, how it looks, even though I already got it coming in the mail. Like, great time for me to try to do a wear test on something that I already ordered. But I didn't set my face, so I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Pro. Pro Okay, guys, so I'm going to be back. I'm going to let this all dry down, go to work, come back, and we'll see how the concealer holds up so you'll know if you need to get it before it sells out at Sephora. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I am back, and after 13 hours worth of wear, this is how my skin is looking with the Rose Concealer, and I must say, I am impressed. I look like my normal glow is starting to show through nothing extremely ollie nothing extremely like greasy looking or any of that i just got my microphone clipped on there because it's time to eat i just needed to clip it somewhere but not on me so let's go ahead and blot a little bit 
this to see what it looks like once we blot and I think it looks fabulous this is a very natural concealer and I'm so upset that I waited so long to try this product out and now they're discontinued from Sephora so I'm going to tell you to run to Sephora online or your local Sephora and pick this concealer up while it's still in stock and while it's on sale this is good I believe for Ollie which I am Ollie Combo, but I believe this would be good for Ollie Combo, dry skin, normal skin. Like this would be really good for all skin types. So yeah, this is how my skin and everything is looking. Of course, I don't have any more lip product on after 13 hours worth of wear using the Rose Ink Concealer. And I am impressed. So run to Sephora and pick it up. I'm out of here. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out. Bye, guys. I'm so hungry.